Hey guys, welcome everyone, welcome. All right, I am going to share my screen. All right, all right guys, welcome everyone, welcome. As you know, on Wednesdays we do, uh, we go over trend following and trading systems, and we have a lot of information to go through this evening. So uh, welcome everyone, welcome. You guys should see my screen here. I am, um, let's do this. All right, uh, we'll go through the markets and then we'll open the floor uh, for any questions. As you guys know, we have a sell signal in the equity markets. All right, so in the stock market, um, we have a sell signal. All right, so um, several things that are going on. Sell signals in the equity markets, we'll look at um, uh, the indexes. Uh, we also have um, a, a, a possible buy signal that is setting up in the dollar index. All right. We've been talking about uh, the dollar index, right? Right here. Um, and we've got buyers coming in. So we're hoping to get a buy signal um, soon in the dollar index. All right. So uh, we'll take a look at uh, Monster Scalper. Uh, Forex Dominator, but um, that's a good trade um, looking to set up. Uh, and some of the dollar pairs have been moving, actually been moving uh, for a while. Um, currently, the equity markets are up, right? They're up um, in after market uh, trading, all right? Uh, all right, which is good. Hopefully, we get a bounce. Right, we we get a bounce. We're still looking to get out of uh, some of the sniper longs calls. All right. Um, the news is the big news is this: we've got red candles, guys. All right, so we've got red candles um, on the Dow. That is not good. All right. Hey, Joe. Welcome, Joe. Hi, everyone. Hello. All right. So here is resistance on the Dow. And uh, the Dow um, never really give a buy signal. And, you know, I've mentioned this before. That's always a concern um, when the Dow, uh, usually uh, when we, we, after we've had a correction, uh, the Dow usually leads us out, right? Um, and then the NAS, uh, usually the S&P will follow, then the NASDAQ or Russell. Um, but that never happened. We never broke resistance, never got a buy signal on the Dow. Well, guess what? We've got red candles here now, guys. All right, red candles right here. Right here, we're at um, support right here. Red candles, that's not good. All right. Uh, you guys see here when these red candles come in, that's not good. All right. Uh, again, we never had a buy signal. Uh, so there's nothing to close, right? We just have red, red candles coming in. All right. So um, that's on the Dow. So we want to use our systems and we want to follow the trends. All right. It's not what we want. It's what the price action is doing. All right, in real time. Okay, that's the Dow. On the uh, S&P, we have the same price action. Hey, Betty, welcome, Betty, welcome. We have the same price action. All right, uh, here we are. We've got sellers coming in, red candles. Uh, we do not have a sell signal yet by the system, all right? But that should come in shortly. Uh, we, we will not wait for that, all right? All right, so red candles, sellers are coming in. You guys can see that here, right here. Red candles, sellers are coming in. That's on the S&P, okay? So those of you who uh, have been trading stocks, you really need to pay close attention to your positions. If you're using the systems, you've got uh, 
Red candles, sell signals, even white candles. I would, I would um, really pay close attention to those. Um, you might want to close your positions unless you've got green candles and it's you know holding nicely, testing resistance, right? Holding near resistance. If you've got white candles and they're near support, um, you might want to close your positions. All right. Here is uh, the NASDAQ right here, right? Trading right below support, uh, trying to hang on white candles. All right. All right. If the selling continues, we'll get a red candle sell signal. All right. So uh, that's the NASDAQ. So every single index right now uh, really struggling. And uh, here is the Russell. Same thing right here. Uh, here's the Russell white candle, right? Right, str struggling, right? Struggling to hold support right here. All right. So um, selling continues, which it might happen. Uh, we could get a move down like this. All right. Um, if we get sell signals, um, uh, let's see, tomorrow or early next week, and we really start to see selling come into the market, we'll start looking at support, lower support. All right, lower support down in this area in here. All right, so too early to do that. Too early to do that. VIX is moving higher. And those of you that are new to us, if you notice things change quickly, that's why we, you know, we have to pay attention to the market, right? We could be long. And if we're not paying attention, right, we could get into that markdown phase real, real quickly. All right. Um, the VIX is uh, green candles coming in on the VIX. All right. You guys see buying coming in here on the VIX. I, I, what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm going to put in, uh, turn on the long just in case we get a buy signal. I want to see that on the VIX. So we'll turn that on. So if we get a buy signal on the VIX, that, that will come in. All right, so 22 on the VIX, all right? We need the VIX to stay below 20 and lower, ideally in the low teens for the market to be bullish, all right? As it moves higher, um, the equity markets will become more bearish. All right, okay. We're looking at uh, the Dow. Normally, we have it on the monthly time frame, but we've got it on the um, on the weekly. We want to see if selling really comes in. We'll we'll see what it does on the weekly time frame. Uh, we've got support on the Dow. All right. Hey Dean, welcome Dean. All right, we've got support. Hello, we've got support on the Dow at uh, I would say 20, uh, 29, but really thirty thousand. Right, that's what traders are watching, and that's a big psychological number. So thirty thousand Dow thirty is right here. All right, but really this area here, here was a big area right here right here it's where it broke resistance before and this is where it failed this was covid i believe yeah i think this was covid um and here right this was the previous selling right here it held here it held so right now it's got a white candle right white candle here selling continues uh, we'll see if it gets back to support Dow 30, and we'll see what happens from there. All right. Too early. All right. Too early. 
but we're no longer testing resistance, testing the highs. All right. But right now that's that's done. Okay. All right, so we're out of we out of stocks. We totally we out we out of stocks. All right. Uh, the sectors we went over this last night. A lot of the sectors um, giving red candles, right, uh, or white candles. Here is uh, the number one sector right now. Okay. Um, communication services, we've got white candles coming in, broke support. Uh, technology, same thing, broke support, white candles. Not good. Home construction, red candle, right here. Um, home builders, red candle, not good. Uh, consumer state, uh, discretionary, white candles here. Uh, utilities, red candles. Uh, silver, silver, red, uh, continuing to move lower, red candles. Gold, gold is moving down also, all right? Red candles here. Um, so that that um, monster future uh, short silver trade should be holding. Um, biotech, red candles. I just want to show you guys what the sectors are doing, right? Uh, financials, red candles coming in. Uh, healthcare, all right, healthcare, red candles. All right, telecom, red candles, all right, red candles. Uh, energy, energy, uh, red candles coming in, so even energy. Materials, red candles, sellers, sellers are coming in. Uh, real estate, uh, red candles, sell signal. Industrial white candles, Brooks support, and uh, consumer staples consolidating right here. All right, so you guys get the idea, right? Sectors are coming down, sectors are coming down, indexes are coming down. All right, so we don't want to play around with this market. All right, the market got a bounce today, some of our stocks. Um, Got a bounce. If you look here, there were a lot of red coming in. This you was this was all blue, all blue. Don't be fooled by these up days. All right. So if you're in any positions, absolutely. If you got a red candle, uh, sell signal. Want to get out? All right. Um, if you've got, um, if you've got white candles, look for opportunities right look for opportunities uh to get out right so sell sell on a bounce sell on a bounce all right the only exception uh we looked at i think it was mary's uh trade i forgot the symbol i don't think i still have it uh, but if you're if you have a position where um if you've got calls i would say just really look to get out uh, but if you've got if you've got positions where it's holding there, it's high, holding their resistance, all green candles, solid in the markup phase, and uh, even trying to break out, uh, then you you know you could hold on to those. All right. All right, but um, be careful. In the futures market, we're noticing that we've got VIX. The VIX is moving. All right, so they're buying volatility in the futures market. All right, so we track we track all the futures, right? And if you guys look here through heat seeker here, volatility, they're buying volatility. That's not good. So what they're doing right here, this VIX right here, right? They're trading, they're trading VIX up. That's not good for equities, all right? They're not shorting it to go down. They're buying, they're buying volatility. They're buying the VIX, all right? So that's not good, all right? And uh, if you guys have any questions as I go through this, I don't want you guys to forget your questions. Just stop me, all right? 
I want to go through this, but stop me if you guys have any questions. But if you look here, they're buying volatility, right? They're starting to buy, all right? No buy signals yet, but we have a lot of volatility right here. All this right here, all this is volatility. This wasn't here yesterday, all right? They're buying volatility right here. They're, they're starting to buy volatility. It's showing up here. Right, it's showing up here, but it's getting into that accumulation phase. All right, if it continues, it will get into that markup phase. All right, here's one here with a green candle coming in. All right, so we want to pay attention to that. Uh, those of you who trade in futures, right, you might want to look. Uh, once we start getting buy signals, you might want to look to trade vol, vol, right? Look to trade volatility, right? Here, green candles are coming in. All right, so, and this has really good price action. Some of these have a really good, nice markdown phase, okay? And then we got a weekly right here. All right, so we'll keep an eye on that, all right? Um, another thing we're seeing, and we, we didn't have this a few days ago, right? Uh, they're um, shorting uh, E-mini. We know they've been shorting gold, right? Gold and silver. All right, silver. Yeah, we know they've been shorting gold and silver, but the big trade, the big trade right now, um, that's showing up in the futures market. And this will give us a good idea of what the market markets are doing, right? So if you guys look here, right, the E-mini S&P, right, they're shorting it. They're starting to, sh to short it, right? So here is the E-mini S&P, and it's showing up in heat seeker, all right? It's showing up in heat seeker, a lot of it. So all this right here, the E mini S and P. So that's the S and P, right? So they're betting that the S and P will continue to go lower. Not good for equities. All right. So this wasn't here before. All right. So and a lot of it, a lot of it. E mini Russell right here, but all this is S and P. All right, S and P, S and P, mid cap. All right, so, all right, so that's further confirmation that we should be out of stocks. All right, out of stocks. All right, all here, E mini. All right, E mini. Um, consumer look, consumer discretionary. All right, energy. S&P energy, sell short signal here, S&P healthcare, look at this. Okay, materials. So don't try to be brave and go against, right, what's happening here. All right, Russell, here's the Russell, E-mini Russell, right? E-mini Russell, okay, all right. Keep an eye on, um, we can start looking for trades in the US 30. Okay, so those of you who are trading the US 30, uh, you can look, um, it has a current sell short signal, right? Um, here we are, red, this on the daily time frame. We have a red candle here, right at support right here, right? Um, this trade could have been a, a decent trade, but it was still very risky. All right. But now that we are right getting out, I would say wait for uh, the 60 minute is in a trade currently. So you guys can look for a trade. If it gets below, I would say below 33. Right, 33, 
right? If it comes back, here's the sell short signal on the 60 minute, right? Here's the here's the signal right here. The sell short signal came in at 33.85. Currently, it's at 33.011. All right. So if it if it if it if it gets below that, um, uh, you're good to go. All right. Okay, so we can start, um, but that's short, right? We, we can go short on the US 30, all right? Um, NAS 100, I would wait, right? Wait a bit, right? No sales short signal yet. Um, do not go long, do not go long. Uh, SSP, S&P, right? Um, it has a sales short signal right here. It's pulled back a bit. All right, it's red candle here. So if you wanted to take a position, uh, wait and wait for it to get right back and break right at 39.88. All right, 39.88 um, would be if you're if if you're savvy and you want to you want to take it um anyway in this area you want to watch it make sure it's coming back down make sure it's got all red candles all right and then you could get in a bit early to now test right this support right here okay all right any questions on this this is a little tricky but any questions on this all right um, keep an eye on Bitcoin. We still have a buy signal. It's testing support, right? It's testing support. Buyers came in now, but had some white candles, right? So um, just watch it, all right? It will go with the S&P. So as the S&P, if the S&P continues to move lower, right, uh, Bitcoin will move lower. We might have a sell signal to close this trade here on the 240 okay okay i uh, want to go through the yen pairs and then we'll talk about uh, what's setting up in the dollar uh, we'll start with the czar uh dollar czar is still holding all right dollar czar is still holding really good trade really good trade um choppy but good, it's continuing to hold nicely in the markup phase, all right? Now, um, in Monster Scalper, let's take a look here. Um, in Forex Dominator, Dollar Czar, we are looking at, um, right here. Do not get tied to these markets. And I mentioned this last night, the reason why we have um, we trade different markets and we have different systems is so that when one market, right, like the equity market, what it's doing now, guess what? We can go to a different market, right? All right. So capital will rotate from one market to the next. Um, uh, Dean, I know you you trade in the uh, the czar pairs, all right. Uh, keep an eye on uh, the czar pairs overnight. You might yeah. get a big move overnight. Okay. Yeah, those are the ones I'm trading off of Dominator. Yeah. So um, uh, the dollar czar, you got that? You in Dominator for that one? Yeah. Okay, good. And you got in, did you get in at a buy signal? At the buy. At the buy, good job. Uh, well, this might euro, pay so off for you based on how the price action is, is looking here. Um, you could, we could break through tonight, all right? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Um, this is the dollar's up, so the dollar is making a move, all right? So we are, we are anticipating a, a, a buy signal soon in the dollar. Here's the dollar right here. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, and with the selling, you know, keep in mind, guys, when the as, when the dollar moves higher, um, the equities tend to move lower. All right. 
equities and everything that we we seen so far everything that we've seen so far tell anything can happen listen tomorrow buyers can come in really strong they would have to come in really strong to change things all right but hey we've seen it happen but everything so far tells us that equities are going to come down dollar all right dollars getting a bid to the upside so uh that will help um uh keep an eye on on the that will help the your your dollar czar in particular right your dollar czar trade now where is it okay your dollar czar trade and that's exactly what we want to do guys right here so um it's gonna it's it's right there right there at that high um and this is resistance here so you could get um and guys if you're not in this in this trade right here watch it still watch it this is how we learn right if you're not in it still watch it watch what, how it reacts to the price here to the resistance here but this could be a great trade especially if you've got it in forex dominator right so if it holds if you catch a move uh this could be last for for several months all right Okay, for you, Dean. All right. So, uh, the next one uh, that's dollar czar, euro czar. Let's take a look at it in Monster Scalper. Um, so, euro czar is right here. All right. So, a bit of a pullback held support right here. No concern. White candles. All right. So, um, the hope is you get overnight, right? Overnight, you get some buying to come in, all right? If it gives you a red candle, Dean, all right? I don't think there's anyone else trading it. You, um, okay, just get out. Uh, and then pounds are, pounds are is holding. This was a big move here, big candle to break through. Uh, holding, it's holding nicely here, all right? Now the yen pairs, the yen pairs, holding nicely a couple of them closed all right so let's go through those all right so dollar yen and dollar yen moving up nicely dollar yen should get uh help from the dollar index okay holding up nicely buy signal was here and i know more of you are in these yen pairs um try jpy improved a bit today all right improved yeah I was concerned about this. Still have purpose, support, and resistance. Solomon, you're in this. Um, but just uh, watch it. SGD, JPY, looking good. New Zealand yen. New Zealand yen sell signal. Um, if it gives another buy signal, that's an opportunity. Um, New Zealand yen will move. Right? right? It will move. And it will move with um, Aussie yen too. All right, HKD JPY holding up nicely. We should break resistance overnight. All right, we could break resistance overnight. It's got um, some highs right here. All right, highs right here. So um, if it break if it break the high right here, right? This is where sellers have been hanging out. All right, hanging out. So it could get a nice big push, right? nice big candle come in uh pound yen a little bit of a pullback but still good buy signal is here uh mary hold on stay hold on to it uh euro yen close so we should be out um euro yen was anyone trading anyone trading euro yen anyone trading euro yen anyone trading euro yen so we should be out buy signal was here failed right didn't turn into a trend broke previous resistance trust your systems don't trust yourself trust the systems all right um resistance previous resistance was right about here all right purple line right here buy white candles came in give a sell signal to get out that's good protection of your capital. So uh, should be out of Euro Yen. If it gives another buy signal, though, um, that's an opportunity to get in. 
All right. Um, Swiss yen buy signal is here. It's holding so far. White candles, it's holding. We need some green candles to come in. Uh, CAD yen uh, give a sell signal to close the trade. Right, buy signal was here. Here is support. Support is right here. Hit support, white candles, uh, sell signal to get out. Okay, watch it. Those of you who did not get into um, uh, the, the, the first trade, uh, the like CAD yen, uh, New Zealand yen, if they give a buy signal, you guys want to get in those trades. Okay. All right. So uh, CAD yen sell signal. And then Aussie yen. Aussie yen also gave a sell signal. All right. Buy signal was here. Uh, sell signal was here. Red candles never really right started to trend. Okay, so kind of broke even there. Uh, this one was for a, a little profit there. So, but keep an eye on Aussie, Aussie yen, CAD yen, New Zealand yen. If they continue to move higher, you guys get a buy signal. Get into get back into them. All right. Any questions on this? Any questions on the yen pairs? Any questions on the yen pairs? Okay. Uh, dollar, the dollar pairs. So let's look at what's happening here. Now, what could happen is this. What could happen is this. Now, don't trade of this, but watch it for this. All right, and we're starting to see some of the, the, the yen pairs close. Keep in mind that the yen pairs will move with the equity markets. Okay, so you know, sometimes they'll, they'll, they'll do their own thing, but uh, there's a large percentage of the time where the yen pairs will follow the equity markets. So as the equity markets move lower, all right, so we know that the Aussie pairs, Aussie pairs, Kiwi pairs, the New Zealand pairs, and the yen pairs, that's the Asian market, right? So they're opening right now, all right? That market tend to go with, um, for whatever reason, right? That, that market tend to go with, um, uh, with our market. All right, so if we're bearish, they're bearish. If we're bullish, right, they become bullish. Um, th the reverse is for the dollar, right? So when the dollar, when the dollar is moving higher, right, the dollar and sometimes the euro, right, the euro, the euro pairs and the dollar pairs tend to go together. All right, the yen pairs, Kiwi pairs, New Zealand pairs, and Aussie pairs tend to go together. Uh, the pound pairs, pound over here will sometimes it will usually do its own thing. Okay, but but if we can if we break it apart, right? If we break it apart, my um, right. So so if the equity markets are moving lower, right? These pairs here, yen, New Zealand, and Aussie, will tend to move lower. Okay, so you might see where your yen pairs might, if the markets continue to move lower, we can see where selling comes in here. Your yen positions might close. All right, you might you might start to see some short opportunities come in here. Sell short signals. Where, where and the dollar pairs will now start to move higher. Okay, so don't be surprised if you start to see um, exits in your yen positions. I know we have a rotation. I know we have a rotation. Okay, but you know, um, that doesn't mean that this could be right, this could be the trade here from here. And now all of a sudden we're doing, we're heading back down. Okay, so um, any questions on that? Any questions on that? Uh, you, that no, makes sense? Yeah, it's all good. That makes sense? 
Yeah, it's important to know that, right? So um, as the equity markets come, they're, they're coming down, right? Unless things totally change, they're coming down. So um, these might come down also, okay? So just watch your positions. The czar, the czar will do its own thing. It's it's the czar pairs, they're doing their own thing. Um, but if you guys look here, Aussie, here's the Aussie dollar coming down. Uh, Aussie New Zealand coming down. Right, here's the Aussie Swiss. Uh, if you guys wanted to take an individual trade, you could short those if you want. Okay, New Zealand, here's New Zealand dollar, right, coming down, right. New Zealand Swiss, New Zealand CAD. You, you say let's let's put it let's put them over here. So Aussie dollar, right? This is trend following. So we want to look at okay, where did where are the trends? Where are they happening? What side of the trade? What side of the market we need to be on? Right? All right. Uh, here Aussie Swiss right here. See here. Aussie CAD. And then New Zealand, and this is what they're supposed to be doing, all right, when the market's, right, is selling off. And then here are the, um, the yen pairs, right? The dollar yen might do, the dollar, you guys might, you, you, you will see it. Um, for, uh, and this is why, I'm, you know, the dollar yen will do its own thing too within the yen group. Because it's it's got that 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 dollar right in there. All right. So it could go long. You could see where the dollar is the only one going long, right? And the rest of the pairs are going short. All right. So if you guys if you get a sell signal in the yen pairs, get out. All right. So like Aussie, Aussie yen. Give a sell signal. Don't worry about that, right? Take the profit or take the loss and get out because it, it could go a lot lower. All right. Cad yen. All right. All right. So um, so don't don't push it. Okay. Don't push it, I guess is what I'm saying. Don't push it. If they give a sell signal, give a red candle, go ahead and get out. Okay, like euro, euro yen right now, right? Euro yen, right? Euro yen gave a sell signal. We should be out. Don't don't play around with these trades. Okay. Um, okay. So dollar, the dollar pairs now. Dollar czar, we know dollar czar. All right. Um, USD SGD buy signal is here, moving higher. Um, is anyone in this? I, I, I thought someone took this trade. USD, SGD, all right. Uh, USD, SEK, nothing here. Um, USD, PLN, uh, horrible chart, but it's it's moving higher. USD, N, okay, buy signal here, okay. If you guys wanted to, that's not a very good chart, but you know what? Let's take a look at the um, let's take a look at it in Forex Dominator. USD and OK. Uh, USD and OK. Not bad. Not a, not a bad trade, right? Held support, right? Held on that pullback, right? Held on that pullback, and now it's breaking resistance. All right, so that's a good trade setting up. USD MXN, nothing there. Uh, uh, let's bring it back here. Uh, nothing with uh, USD MXN, USD HUF. Uh, just wait on that one. All right, nothing here. USD DKK buy signal is here. It's moving up nicely here. Um, keep an eye on USD CZK. Okay, buy signal is here, right? Held support, and now it's it's um, it's 
yeah, breaking out again, right? Breaking out here. So that's a really good one to keep an eye on. USD CNH. Who is in USD CNH? Someone is in USD CNH. Who's in USD CNH? Yes, I am. Uh, Dean? Yes, I am. You in this? You in that one? Good job. USD uh, CNH. Are, are you in it in Monster Scalper or uh, Forex Dominator? Uh, USD CNH. Okay, so no buy signal. So I'm assuming. Um, good job. Uh, uh, Dean, did you get it near the buy signal? Uh, did I lose Dean? Okay. But I'm, we're going to assume he got it at the buy signal. So good job. Buy signal here all the way up here. Uh, good job. Uh, on the um, in Forex Dominator, uh, a buy uh, signal David. should come. Go ahead, Dean. Yes, it That's was um, Dominator at the buy signal. At the buy signal. Good job. Yeah. So you've got several good trades going. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're looking really good. Wow. Okay. Okay, good job, good job. You might want to um, um, turn convert that trade. Okay, so convert your convert your. If you got in here at the buy signal here, you 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 you're doing pretty good. So um, you you should get a buy signal soon uh, in uh, Forex Dominator. Okay, so then just convert that trade. Move it from move it from uh, Monster Scalper to Forex Dominator. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then just let it run, bud. Just let it run. Um, it, it's also, been tri uh, USD Go ahead. and OK. Which one? USD and OK. USD and OK. Uh, okay, we'll take a look at that. Uh, but look, if you look here and everyone else, you see how the system is trading it? Just really nice. If we brought in the sell short signal, you know, follow your systems. Follow your systems. If we brought in the sell short signal, you guys look here. Nice buy signal, nice buy signal, nice sell short signal. And now it's waiting for a buy signal. Okay. When you see these type of trades, and these are for a lot, I, I can't even count the, the amount of pips. All right. Lots of pips. Um, when you guys see the system trade like that, uh, that should give you, I mean, there's no guarantee. We know that, but that should um, give you some comfort that the price action, the price. Right, the price action um, is really good with with the pair with with USD CNH. Okay, so uh, yeah, this would be a great one to convert. Right, move it from Monster Scalper to Forex Dominator. Once you don't don't do it on until you get a buy signal. Then okay, so you'll be really in the money. Right, really good. Um, uh, you don't have to, if you wanted to put a stop loss, right? You could put a stop loss. Uh, perhaps let's say it gives you a buy signal up in this area here. You could put a, a stop loss below here, right? Somewhere below here, just just for safety. Um, yeah, but yeah, I see that. Yeah, good, good, and it could it could run. Let's say it catches, you know, really moves high and start testing this. From here to here, let's say you get a buy signal in here, from here to here, tons of pips, plus what you have already. Uh, and then uh, at some point, you can start, you know, scaling up, you know, scaling up. All right. Good job. Very good job. Let's take a look at USD and OK.
Very good job. Very, very good job. Uh, USD and OK, still, still developing. Buy signal, pullback, held. OK, uh, let's take a look at. Uh, so it still has some a ways to go. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so early here, USD and OK. All right, and if guys, if you're not in these trades, still pay attention, follow these trades, track them. That's how we learn. All right, so it's now breaking out of um, um, resistance, right, in Forex Dominator. And you guys remember, we committed. Right, and I'm glad Dean is taking trades. Right, taking trades, following that. All right, then it depends on how you finish with these trades. We might have to. You might be a success story for Forex Dominator. <laughs> well, let's see. Let's see. <laughs> that would be that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I mean, here we are in February, and um, it's we we you know trading it nicely. You know, we haven't we haven't used this system in years in years uh so traders just you know and we've tried to get traders to trade it but they don't want to stay in the trade long all right you have to stay in the trade a long time all right that's the goal here so um then if you can have some success then um some of these other uh some of our other traders might be convinced right that they can do it also right that's that's the goal that's the goal so good job good job good job all right um stock boss let's see here let me run this here we have 14 14 guys 14 14 14 um symbols in stock boss all right that's it that's it 14 so we know this this they're not buying right if you guys have if you this is a, an example here if you have a stock so look at each of your individual stocks that you guys are in if your stocks are doing this markets are, are, are bearish markets are struggling but your stock continues to move like this you want to keep it right you you, you want to keep it if not then get out of it okay if it's making new highs, like here's another one here, making new highs while the market is struggling, all right, that's 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 good. Um, at some point, if the market continue to be bearish, there are areas we can go into, right? We, there are areas forex we can always forex. Even where even with forex, when it, it it might dry up, we still have some opportunities, okay. But you, we might find some utility stocks in here might pop up. Health, some healthcare might pop up here, but usually utilities, that's a, a flight to safety. Um, we might start going to a monster ETF, all right? If the markets really become bearish or go to monster short, all right? But we have only, we have only 14. Now, if you guys want to trade, if you, if you want to trade, all right, there will be opportunities just know that it's it's risky because you're trading against the overall market but if you find if you find a stock that is strong there will be stocks just like these here you won't find a lot all right you won't find a lot but you might find a stock that's that's moving here that's really you know going against <laughs> right um everything and it's really moving and that might be an opportunity Right, but these are isolated trades. Right, these are isolated trades. So, um, those of you who trade stock bars, you can still look for opportunities. Be careful. But if there, uh, this is a good trick. If there, if you find, if you find one or two like this one here, where is it? Where it's making new highs, right? Um, where uh, and, and this works out really well, right? Where you can't trade everything, but if it's markets are bearish right markets are going through that markdown phase and you find a, a couple a few that's really moving breaking new highs 
right? When the market is, that might be an opportunity, right? And sometimes they will put, uh, 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 they'll move a few stocks because that's like, well, that's the only place to go, right? So uh, keep that in mind, keep that in mind. So don't totally disregard your stock boss, right? You just have to trade it differently. Uh, same thing for bull master. All right, let's see how many how many we have. Uh, same thing here, fourteen. Uh, fourteen in bull master. So fourteen in stock boss, fourteen in bull master, and you guys know that's not a lot. All right, there's two technology stocks. All right, um, here is one here, right? Here is one here making new highs. Just you just have to be careful. All right. There's one here making making highs here. Just be careful. Okay. All right. So we out of stocks. Out of stocks. If things change, we'll know. All right. We'll know. If things change, we'll see it here in the price action, which it it's it's happened before. Buyers could come back in, and all of a sudden, we're testing resistance again. VIX is coming down. So, any questions for me? Any questions for me, guys? Uh, is anyone in any stock still in any stocks that we can take a look at? I can help you guys. Any stocks? Any stocks you guys are in? Any symbols we can take a quick a quick look at? Yeah, I'm still in several. They're they're just white candles. So they, I did once. So. Okay. Uh, then let's take a quick look. What? What are the? Give me a few of the symbols. I just want to make sure you guys uh, you're doing the right thing out there. Okay. Z O M Z O M. That's the one I sold. D D O M Z Z O M. Yes. Z O M. Okay. That's the one I got out of. Okay. Any others? <clears throat> Still holding Wish. Wish. Okay, I Let's think we took a, a look at Wish last night. Wish, okay. Any others? S O U N. S O U N, okay. And um, W G S. W G S, okay. That's it? D H C. DHC? Yeah. DHC. Okay, let's take a quick look. And if you guys are in positions and you need help, uh, just let me know. This It's tricky right now, right? So don't try to do it on your own if you're not sure. All right. Um, ZOM, so you're out of that one. Good job. All right, good job. All right, good job. If you got in at the buy signal, you took a small loss. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good job. That's what we want. All right. We don't want to buy up in this area here. If we buy, if we enter, if we don't enter near the buy signal, we get in here. Look at your loss. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. why we want to get in near that those buy signals. Wish, W I S H. We looked at that one. Um, yeah, we said hold. It got it, it actually moved up from yesterday, so hold on to it, okay? Yeah. Just hold on to it. It's got pretty good support, and yeah. if it gives you a red candle, though, get out, okay? Yeah, get out, but hold on to it. You might you might get lucky. It's it, it's yeah. definitely holding. Yeah. Um, S S O U N S O U N, all right. This is an example here. We want to hold this, right? We want to hold this. It's not. It's not trading near support. It's holding strong, right? It's it's holding really nice, right? So with all of that selling yesterday, right? Um, markets were kind of flat to low today. It's still holding. So that yeah. that says that it's it's a very strong stock. So we had traders in the past, right? Um, where when we when we give a say okay, sales we have sales signals in the market, they just go on and close all their trades. We don't want to do that. All right, we don't want to. We want to look at every individual trade, analyze every single trade. 
okay if, uh, if don't just close the trades in the past i used to do that i mean i would i woke up what was it monday and i saw the market or tuesday plus mm -hmm. it went down 600 points i, I would have normally jumped out of everything yeah 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 and we've had traders and it's it's you know it's a panic thing right we're like we just panic and we don't want to do that right we don't want to do that um because you will have um we have to look at each trade individually i i know it's scary when the you know when the market is down especially when it's not we're not in that markdown phase and that that selling comes in right away on a day that you know we we're not expecting it even as traders we know things happen right but it it is it it is um it can mess mess with your mind right when you have those big down days okay so yeah um so good job not closing it closing the ones you need to close okay good job then um w g w g f s right so this one here it's holding right it's holding yeah. um, holding nicely made a low made a low down here move back up nicely nice right nice nice trade right holding nicely no red candles right your white candles it's not testing support it looks like it wants to test resistance that's strong yeah. mm -hmm. okay um and uh dh dnc or dhc D H C D D H C okay D H C all right um yeah green candles yeah just hold watch it watch it watch it okay watch it keep an eye on it um you've got pretty good resistance and you've got good support so uh just watch it resistance is here good resistance here it's trading between support and resistance so uh, you know what to do all right so you've got pretty good support down here so all of this area here is you know area, an area where you just let let it develop okay yeah. let it develop right mm -hmm. it closed below here then you might get sellers to come in uh, you got some near-term support right here it's not a big deal this is your major support down in down over here okay all right all right and no anxiety we want to be calm all right we want to be calm about things all right anyone else anyone else good job dean good job bud good job anyone else anyone else okay um tomorrow we will uh we have our stocks, options, and ETFs class. So we'll go through more of this again, okay? Um, keep an eye on the dollar pairs, all right? Um, those of you in the yen pairs, um, keep a close eye on them, okay? Uh, we You could see where we might start getting, and we have started to get some sell signals in some of the pairs. So if you guys are in, in those some of those yen pairs, uh, keep an eye on them okay um and hopefully we'll get a buy signal in that dollar in that dollar we could see a really good move the dollar is due for a nice move up okay all right so uh good job good job good job guys all right take care i will see you guys tomorrow good job take care bye-bye